everyone welcome to today's video I am very excited to um, do this review on this product because I searched everywhere every Walmart I could and I finally found it and I'm so happy to give you a little first impression slash review and I did use these products today and I did test them out all out and I decided to give it a little bit of a twist and some of the brushes I used liquid and the other side I used a cream or powder. I can already tell you that these brushes are so beautiful. Just the design of them. They're so iridescent, very beautiful, and I was really happy to get some. I did pick up extra just in case I love them, and I really do. So I'm going to show you how I applied the products in my skin. I'm going to insert some clips on it, and I'm going to just explain how it all worked out. So the first one that I tried was the 801, and this one is a really densely packed, and it's really nice to get all over the face. This one is supposed to be for all over cream or liquid foundation. Uh, move the brush into fluid movement over your face to apply and blend. So this brush is very nice for liquid and powder. Um, as you're looking at the video right now, this one, it blends out your foundation so intense and it actually gives you the most coverage that your foundation provides. So I was using the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation and this one made it really medium to full coverage and there was no streaks whatsoever on the skin. It was very smooth, very beautiful. On the other side, I used the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Powder. It's a matte finishing powder and it blended out so well too. It doesn't accentuate anything on my skin. It actually gives it a more flawless appearance, which I totally enjoy. I really love that about this brush. And I'm going to move on to the next one, which is 802. And this one's ideal for blush or bronzer application for a stunning glow. This one, I actually used it to apply my bronzer. On one side, I applied the matte bronzer, which was from NYX. And on the other side, I applied my cream bronzer, which was the Chanel Tan de Soleil. And I can tell you already, it's so nice. It was a really nice application. And this brush actually applied highlighter as well. This one is supposed to be only for about blush or bronzer, but you can customize it to however you want to use them. This one was really great for highlight and it was great for concealer. I'll move on to 803. So this one is for blending out your contour under your cheekbones, along your jawline, or in your hairline. So this one is really beautiful for that. If you like to have really structured contours, this one's really nice. Um, I would ideally use this also for concealer. It's a really nice uh, concealer brush, or you can apply highlight with this one also. It is really nice brush. I really did like this one. So moving on to 804. This brush was a little bit disappointing to me, but it is a really good brush, but it didn't actually work for its purpose. This is actually really great for spot concealing. Uh, this one is to apply concealer blending makeup under your eyes or for contouring your nose or other small areas of the face. I do agree that this one would be great for those things and but the one thing is blending out your concealer all over your under eye. That would be a little bit more complicated because the brush ends are so small. That's when I love the number 802 to bring in and, con and cover up all the dark circles and all that and give me the most full coverage on my look. With the 804, it takes a little bit longer and I'm not sure if you would like to take, if you like to take your time with your makeup, this would be a great brush. But if you just like to do it right on the go, make it quickly, I wouldn't recommend it for that purpose. But overall, these brushes are very incredible. I can tell why the hype is everywhere. I've seen it on Facebook and I just wanted to share a little bit 
of how this happened like how I found them and it was just a little motivational thing that I want to share so I learned that if you want something you have to you know go out of your way and actually look for it so with these I had to call a lot of Walmarts to actually find the, the actual product and a really nice lady was able to help me out and it's just a little life lesson even though this is you know materialistic things go out of your way and find the things and don't be afraid if you want something go for it that's one thing that I learned today because I was in a big like chase and trying to find them so I can make a review on them and it was all well worth it so makeup brush set is so beautiful the packaging is beautiful on them candles are so unique they remind me of mermaids it's so pretty and it is I would completely recommend this product I actually wanted to mention really quickly that this week I actually wanted to film videos all based on brushes and it's going to be Monday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. I'm going to be making another review on Wednesday over other makeup brushes and also Friday so keep on the lookout for that. Just letting you know. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please subscribe and I hope you have an incredible day. Bye!